Welcome to a transmission special event. We are going to take a spin through the Transformers deck building card game. And you might be asking, how can we do a deck building card game that's a physical game and we're not in the same room and we're online? Well, that's the magic of the internet. And we're going to we're going to do a virtual version of the deck building card game and uh, I'm, uh, I am, of course, your host, Charles, a.k.a. Big C. I'm joined by the excellent Transmissions team, Jeremy, a.k.a. Yakko. Hello. The illustrious Dr. Pants. Hello, everyone. Our awesome editor and producer, Mike. Hello. And Daryl's not here. Great Transformers. So got to say <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I stepped on your line, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play Transformers. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah, Daryl just are. doesn't like to have fun. He doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Doctor Pants, you're uh, you have a whole channel devoted to games, uh, mostly video games, but you you do do some tabletop games uh, down again. So why don't you? Uh, ease us in to this uh, this brave new world that we're trying here well thank you for handing it over to me yes i do have experience <laughs> with gaming mostly video games but uh we're all going to be playing through tabletop simulator through steam which if you haven't picked that up and you're a big tabletop fan it's a great way to kind of connect with people online and still play tabletop games i check it out it's pretty cool but uh with this our wonderful editor Mike has lovingly recreated this deck building card game, which a deck building card game, all the stuff is self-contained. You build a deck of cards and uh, I've played a few before. Uh, Mike, go I'm, on. I'm, <laughs> Mike, I'm assuming you've played a couple in your day. Yeah, I have played a, a, I have played a couple here and there. Certainly. Uh, it's not like my biggest, like my biggest go-to for board games or for card games, I, I usually prefer something a little bit on the lighter side or on the, the heavier side that lasts all day. So this is kind of like on one of those like mid ranges that uh, a little bit, you know, it's like it's got some complexity, it's got some meat on it, but not so bad that you're gonna be spending like an entire like half a day doing it. Right. And, I mean, well, let's face it. How else are we going to play a Transformers card game? It's not like another one exists anymore. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I'm salty. I'm sorry. I really... I, <laughs> we're going to have to play that on Tabletop Simulator at some point, Mike, because uh, I need my fix of that. Good luck scanning in all those cards. They're already there. It's already done. Oh. <laughs> yeah, somebody did it. And there's even cards from that game that people just made for fun. Like, there's a community who make new cards constantly for it. That's crazy. That's awesome. Mm. But, uh, Charles, have you ever played a deck-building tabletop card game before? I have not. So this is a new experience for me, but I am excited to get into it and, and kick some Deceptibutt. Yes. <laughs> yes. And, Jeremy, what about you? Any deck-building uh, deck games under your belt? Just the the one time we might have tried this at some point. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is the first time we're doing this. <laughs> yeah. The, I, I don't have my, my card game experience is limited to things like spades and poker and blackjack. I mean, that's still good. Yeah. I enjoy a good game of poker from that from time to time, but especially when you come out, you know, with more money than you came in, it's always we're good night. We're not playing this for money, right? Because, uh, oh, no. No. Okay. It's virtual but, money. No. It's virtual money. No. It's okay. Oh, well, we're no one wants to play with virtual money anymore. The market crashed. <laughs> we're, we're gonna, the winner gets an NFT. <laughs> well, that sucks because we're playing cooperatively. So if we win, we all get an NFT. We all get a fourth of an NFT. <laughs> Whoever wins, we lose. <laughs> so, uh. Yeah, I mean, this is this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. So, uh, Mike, why don't you take it and you explain a little bit to the people exactly what's going on here? Because you're you're the game master in this, so you know better than us what's going to happen. Ooh, I'm the GM. 
That's great. I love it. Uh, all right. So uh, what we're going to do here today, aside from uh, just straight up playing the game, is I am going to go through just the, the setup process on it real quick, and we'll just talk about some of the characters that you can play, uh, along with just the, the quick and dirty basic setup of the game, just so everyone's got an understanding of like how all this stuff comes together. Uh, so first off, let's uh, start off with some character selection. Uh, we got seven char uh, six characters in the base game, and then the promo added uh, Jazz in there. So we got Prime, Bumblebee, Wheeljack, RC, Ratchet, and Ironhide in the base game, and then we got Jazz as the promo if you were lucky enough to uh, get in on the pre-orders from, uh, from Renegade Games. And yes, I probably should start with that too. This is the Transformers deck building game by Renegade Games. Uh, as of this recording, they have already announced a Decepticon version that will be coming out in late 2022, uh, along with an expansion to the game that's already out, which will be coming out uh, summer-ish, I think like around August or so, July, August. Uh, which is going to be a pure expansion, so you will need the uh, Autobot base uh, game here in order to, to do that. I say base game, but let's be honest, it's these are all self-contained things, so if you bought the, the initial uh, package here, uh, you get the six Autobots for it. If you buy the Decepticon one later this year, it's all self-contained. They're all standalone. You don't need to buy any more in order to have fun with this. Uh, it just... If you buy more, it just adds more options. But every one you buy is going to be a full, uh, a full game in a box. So characters, of course, we get two modes. We got an alt mode. We got a bot mode. Bot modes have different abilities that you can pay Energon for. Energon is the in-game currency for the for this card game, uh, and it is going to actually take an action to flip from uh, alt mode to bot mode. Uh, I picked uh, Ratchet the Medic because he's got some neat abilities that allow you to remove damage from uh, yourself and other people. Uh, useful in a co-op game, which is exactly the version we're playing uh, for this time around. Uh, Charles, who did you pick for your character? I picked RC. Excellent. Uh, RC has got some abilities that uh, allow you to gain some uh, some extra power, uh, mess around with the top of your deck, and uh, looks like you can do some neat things with maneuver cards, and we'll see what those are in the middle of the game. Uh, let's see here. Jeremy, how about you? Who did you pick? I picked Wheeljack. Ooh, solid choice. Yeah. He's got uh, a bonus to power with each technology. And technology is a specific card type, so we're going to want to keep an eye open for technology cards because uh, those are going to be useful for Wheeljack. And last but not least, Dr. Pence, whom did you pick? No one picked Prime. We got to have an Optimus Prime. If we're taking down Decepticons, we need a Prime. Also, uh, I get the feeling that he's going to be very useful when we're taking down enemies and bosses and everything. He's a bit of a bruiser, I feel. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, you get an ability to draw a card and uh, an auto block ability, uh, which is going to be very useful. Also very fitting for Prime because he's always jumping in the way of shit. Jumping in the <laughs> way of everything and dying. <laughs> auto block ability is also good if he's playing basketball. Another one. <laughs> yes. Yep. All right, let's take a quick look at how the uh, game is set up on here. So you have a couple of piles of cards over here on the right-hand side. You have the main deck of cards up top. You have a number of Decepticon bosses that get interspersed into the deck. You have a number of encounters, which is what you'll uh, pull when you face a Decepticon. And then you have damage cards, which we are trying to avoid as much as possible. Because if we get hit by five damage cards at any one time... Our character dies, and since we're playing it competitive, uh, cooperatively, we all lose. So, if you get five damage, we all are dead. Uh, and then we have the transform and rollout card down here, which is an additional one that you can buy. Uh, so for setup, it's not too complicated, um, but reading out the rulebook for it, there's a lot of steps. 
So I'll just go over that real quick as to how to set this up. So you have your deck of cards here. You're going to put together what's called the matrix. The matrix is a grid of cards that is going to act as the game board. Now, it depends on how many players you have, uh, and that's going to determine just how big this matrix is or this grid is. With four players, it's going to be a four by four grid for a total of 16 cards out at any one time. Once you have your grid out and set up, you're going to take the remainder of your deck here and you're going to cut it into even portions. Uh, and again, the number depends on the number of players. So for four players, you're going to split it into 13 uh, piles of 13. And there's going to be some leftovers, and that's okay. So you split this into 13 here. You split it into 13 here. And then uh, looks like I was a little bit under on my, uh, my deck count. Uh, so there would be 13 on that one as well. And there would even be a couple extra left over. So these piles indicate the num these piles indicate the where the bosses go. So you'll notice that there's a couple of bosses I already picked out over here for our game. Each one has a little symbol next to it, has either a level one, level two, or level three. You take the level one, shuffle it into the first pile. You take the level two, shuffle that into the second pile, take the level three, shuffle that into the third pile. And then whatever remainder you have left over on the side here, you simply stack pile one on top of two, two on top of three, and then three on top of whatever is left over. And that is your, your deck. You don't have to shuffle this anymore because it's already been, the boss is already shuffled in there. And then we're, we're good to go. We jump in and then we start actually playing. There's a couple of uh, optional rules that you can use. Uh, there are cards called relics, which are super expensive but super powerful cards. Uh, more appropriate to use during uh, competitive play, but you can have those in there. Uh, there are Decepticon schemes that you have to thwart that you can add in there as well to get a bit more complexity. Uh, there's cooperative schemes as well that you, you can thwart only in a cooperative setting. Uh, and I did toss a couple of those in here for uh, this game. Uh, the rules do recommend that the first time you play, avoid the relics and avoid the schemes. But we're all we're all pretty smart people here. I think we can. Uh, I think we can handle a couple of co-op schemes, right, guys? You could say we're wicked smart. Smart. <laughs> wicked smart. <laughs> yeah. And the last thing for setup is your starting deck of cards here. So you have. Uh, starting starter deck of 10 cards and all you need to do is flip that over shuffle them and then you're going to draw five cards from this to form your starting hand and you can see that I already have my starting hand down here any questions or do you think we're uh, we're good to go let's do it yeah let's 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 do this thing all right let's do it there's our real board. Yep. Real board's already set up, and our characters are ready to go. Uh, so here's what we're going to do on starting off in this, and I'll explain things about the, the rules as to how to play as we, we go in here. Uh, so what I am going to, to do is... Uh, where is my character? I'm over here. I'm down here in the corner. So I'm playing as Ratchet. So in my hand, I have all those cards. I have a, a card called Courage, Firepower, Reserves, Fix, and another Courage. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to play, uh, since this is the first turn and there's nothing that's really uh, on the board to really hurt me at this point, I'm actually going to put down uh, most of, if not all, of these cards. Yeah, I'll put them all down. Why not? So we have, on each card, we have a symbol. The symbol is either a little lightning bolt, which indicates power, or it can have a double arrow, and that double arrow will indicate movement. 
Uh, there's also, oh, thank you, Jeremy. Uh, there's also on a few of the cards here a target icon, uh, which indicates range. Power lets you interact with things, lets you buy cards from the grid, lets you defeat enemies, uh, just lets you do things, whereas move lets you move. Uh, target will come, the, the range will come in, in a little bit later on, but it lets you do things at range. It lets you like, attack things that are next to you versus like on the card that you landed on. So what we do here is we add up all of the symbols that we have on here. So looking at my energy icon, the lightning bolt here, I got one, two, three, four. So I have four power icons and I have one, two move icons. Now you'll notice that on my character card, I also have two for move. All of your, uh, all of your characters in alt mode in your vehicle form have an automatic two move to them. So that's two plus a two, that's four. So I have four power and I have four move already banked. When you play a card, like I did on all these here, you get the, the resources as soon as you put them down to play them. Now you'll notice that two of the cards also have some extra text to them. Reserves, for instance, here. If you control three or fewer Energon, you gain one Energon. I currently only have two, because we start off with two. So I will go ahead and grab an Energon from the pile and put it on my board, which brings me up to three. And I will take a look at Fix. Fix allows me to return one damage controlled by any player in your space or an adjacent space to the stack. No one has any damage at the moment, so this is not going to do anything. Nothing's going to help on this one. However, there is an ability down the bottom here that says I can pay an Energon to destroy a starter I control. I will do that, just not right at the moment. So I have four power and I have four move. So I'm going to grab my token. At the start of the game, you can automatically teleport for free anywhere into the board. So I will go ahead and start over here in the bottom right hand corner. So that teleport is free. I'm going to spend one of my moves to flip this card. Thankfully, it's not a Decepticon, so I'm not going to get hurt by this. And you can see that uh, this is Helping Hand. It costs three. That's the number in the top left hand corner. And if I use it, I can gain two uh, power at a range of two. It also lets me block things, which is neat for helping out uh, other people during attacks. So I have four power. I think I will spend three of that power to buy this helping hand card. So I will spend the three, take this card, and I'm going to move it and put it to my section here. And I'm going to put it in my discard pile to start with. It's important to go to the discard pile first. Uh, so that is one move spent and three power spent. I will continue spending some move and some power. So I will move one to the section here. That's two move spent. And I will spend one more move to flip over this one to see what I get. All right. That's a Prowl card. Uh, so that costs four. So I would need four power to buy it. I don't have four power anymore, so I cannot buy it this turn. Um, but it's worth a good amount of power and move if I did buy it. Uh, let's see, I've spent three moves. I don't have, uh, I have one move left. And what I think I'll do is I will move one more over to uh, this next piece here. Since I don't have the moves to flip it, I cannot flip it. So my movement is done. I have one power left over. Can't do anything with it because there's nothing available for me to spend for one power. Uh, but an important thing to note is down here on the bottom of the stack is that transform and rollout card. Notice that there is, or it cost two power in the top corner. At any point during your turn, if you have two power, you can spend those two power in order to buy a transform and rollout card, which is very good. And if I had it, I definitely would have picked it up. Unfortunately, I don't have enough power. I'm out of power. And what does that card do? What's the advantage of that transform and rollout card? Uh, well, it gives you one power, one range, and one move. So that's better than almost all of your starting cards. And when you play it, you may transform for free. And it gives you an assist, 
uh, plus one power to helping someone out. It's helping someone else out at a range of either zero or one. So very, uh, it's it's a good card to use to get rid of starters, whereas the starters are just not as as good, not as useful. Okay, uh, so my turn is done. Uh, at the end of your turn, you fill up the matrix here with another card from the top of the deck. So I'm going to pull that top card, place it here in the matrix to help fill it in. And then I'm going to take all of the cards that I have here that I played, along with any cards still remaining in my hand, and I'm going to take these and put them in my discard pile, along with that... Uh, the uh, the maneuver that I just bought uh, a little while ago. And that is it. My turn is done. Uh, we are going clockwise, which means it is Dr. Pence. It is your turn. All right. So I'm going to play my five cards because, well, I might as well. So I've also got a bunch of courage. I've got three courage cards to play, but I've also got a patrol which will allow me to flip an adjacent space. So when I teleport, I'll be able to use that and get the uh, move from that. And I've got a reserves, which I am going to use because I only have two energy on. And uh, I'm just going to take that. Reserves and... was the same one that I played. Yes, and it is very handy at the start of the game because it gives you that extra energy on. All right. So... Um... I am going to start off, I'm going to go right here in the middle of the board, and I'm going to I'm going to play my patrol card, and I'm going to flip this one right here, and it is, uh, I can't read, there we go, Spark Plug Witwicky, he's an ally, start a turn, put one starter from your discard pile into your hand. Ooh. So allies are slightly unusual uh, versus like the rest of the cards in here. Allies are one of the few cards that do not go away at the end of your turn. So if you purchased a uh, spark plug here, he would go straight to your table uh, or straight to your side of the table. And at the start of turn, you would get that ability that you can, you can use that. Okay. Uh, it requires three power, which I do have, but I think... What I'm going to do, because I also have to be on top of it to buy it, correct? Unless you have three power with a range of one. So if you have enough cards that's at a, a range of one or more, uh, and you're able to get three power from those cards, you could do it at range. However, I don't think you do. So yes, you would have to move on to the card. All right. Well, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to spend one to move, go over here. I'm going to spend one more to flip this card. Oh, crap. Oh, we got a Decepticon. <laughs> oh, every time. Uh, <laughs> so that's an ambush, correct? That is correct. That is an ambush. So we, uh, we flipped Brawl here. Uh, and whenever you flip an adversary, an adversary is any, since we're playing, all playing Autobots and all adversaries are considered, all Decepticons are considered adversaries. So what you're going to do is you are going to pull one of these encounter cards, flip it and read the ambush section, which is the top of the card. All right. Before that, uh, Prime in his alt mode does have the ability that when you flip an adversary in your space, I get plus one power. And I can transform prior to the ambush. Sounds good to me. So I am going to transform. I have a plus one power. And uh, now I can draw the uh, the encounter card here. And we'll flip it and see what it says. Uh, ambush. Destroy the top card of your deck. Ooh, Ooh. that is unfortunate. Uh, destroy means that it goes away. It does not go to your discard. It does not go anywhere else. Uh, it goes to the destroyed pile. Uh, it is important because some characters do have the ability of pulling things out of the disc of the destroyed pile. I think Wheeljack has an ability to do that with technology. Okay. Well, I just took the top card of my deck and put it in a, a destroy pile there, so that's taken care of. And... Uh... So Brawl here has a 
number of four at the top, meaning I need four power to beat him, correct? That is correct. Well, the good news is, is with my three courages and the fact that I gained a plus one power uh, because of the ambush, I have four so I can defeat him. You absolutely can. And I'm, I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to beat Brawl here. So I just, I take him, correct? You take him. Uh, you do not put him in your discard. You actually would put him in your vault. Uh, the vault is not important for co-op uh, co games because we're all working for the same goals. But in a competitive game, your vault provides you extra victory points at the end of the, the, the game. And whoever has the most victory points wins in a competitive game. Uh, for us, though, keep track of the Decepticons you defeat because some schemes uh, will reference them and some bosses will reference them. So just in case. Okay. The gain two victory points at the bottom, that means that I gain two Energon, though. Is that correct? That is correct. Uh, since cool. we are playing cooperatively, uh, anytime you would gain victory points, you instead gain Energon. Then I will take my two Energon. There we go. And... I still have a movement. So I'm just going to move back onto a spark plug here, and that'll be the end of my turn. So I'm going to refill the Matrix... Stay mm -hmm. on friendly ground. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's, it's the safe option. All right, well, that brings us over to uh, Charles. Brings us over to you. Uh, don't forget uh, to draw five new cards at the end of your turn as well. So once your turn is done completely, you draw five new cards. And that way you have a, a hand for your uh, <laughs> to potentially help out with for the next turn. Where did... Uh, they pr if you don't okay. see them anymore, they probably fell to the floor. Yeah, there's some yep. on the floor underneath you. Yep. Charles. It's like being on a real table. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I have uh, five cards in my hand, so I'll just play them here. Okay. So I have uh, reserves, a fix, two courages, and a patrol. So reserves, I get an energon. I have three or fewer energon. I only have two energon, so I do get one energon. So I'll grab Excellent. that. Excellent. Uh, Seems to be the common move. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no one has any damage, so fix doesn't do anything. But uh, it does give me that extra movement. Reserve gives me the extra movement. Courage, two courages give me two power, and the patrol gives me extra movement and also lets me flip an adjacent card. So RC starts with three movement, so I have six movement total and two power. Oh, RC is a speedy little girl, isn't she? Yeah. So I guess so. I can I can start on any um, any square here. That is correct. Matrix. You can teleport to All any right. square to start with. All right. So I'll just uh, I'll go right here. And uh, for, the, um, for, the, for the patrol flip over, does that cost me a movement when I flip it over? Nope. It is automatic when you play patrol. Okay. So I guess I will do that now and flip this one next to me. Do it. And that is oh. bombshell. Ooh. So you flip well, the Decepticon. However, no one is standing on him. So no ambush takes place right now. Nice. Okay. And he does have two power. So I have two power. The number at the top left is how much you have to beat five. him with. Oh, five. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll just let him sit there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Uh Okay. Um, all right. So I've got, uh, I've still got my six movement. So let's see. Do I, do I flip, do I flip the one I'm standing on? Do I feel lucky? You feel what are the uh, chance, lucky? What are the chances it's another Decepticon right there? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, all right. I'll flip it. Do it, Charles. And, 
more there than meets the eye a maneuver and it's a so you may transform that's the maneuver card yeah, so it costs three it costs five or sorry it costs Top five left. to buy so i cannot buy that but uh you think well i'm not push? i'm not in bot mode so i can't do anything uh it's worth Not three that... power, and you may tra- if you have it in your hand, you may transform, and it gives you an assist ability as well to uh, to yeah. help out people around you. Not a bad. But card. I do not have I do not have the enough power to buy this card, right? So I can. So that's one movement. So I've got five movement left. I guess I can. Do I still feel lucky? That's a, I'll, I'll move again. So that's two. That's four movement left. Okay. Should I flip another one? What flip do you guys it. think? Flip it. All flip right. There we go. What do we get? Energon, Energon. drill technology. Ooh. Gain two Energon if you were on a site. Gain three Energon instead. Okay. So that's three. I still I only have two power, so I cannot buy that. And but you, I have four movement left. You have two, but you have that one that you got from your reserves too. Sorry. Don't you have three? No, I have. Oh, I sorry. Have two I'm thinking power. energon, not power. Sorry. Oh, I, I see what you're talking. About. You're thinking, yeah, the energon cubes. Yeah, add up the little lightning bolt symbols for the yeah, for your power. Sorry. Yeah. No worries. Okay, I've I've got four movement left. Or no, what do I what do I have? I have three mo- three movement left because I flipped it. So. Uh. That's two. I've got. Uh, so now I, I think I'll buy a transform and roll out card. I, or, that's based well, on no, power. That's based on power, not movement. Okay. Um, I guess I can. I've got two movement left. I guess I, I can do you can one always more just, flip. You can always you just can. end your turn. If, if you're afraid your luck's going to run out. Or you could take the risk. <laughs> so not that it would really be something we would do in a cooperative game but if you have a patrol and someone's sitting on a, a turned over card next to you could you flip it over and if it was Decepticon it would ambush them I uh, you could actually do that yeah and that is a, a very legit strategy in a competitive game okay mm. yeah it'd be kind of a dick move to do in a cooperative <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's, what's the choice Charles what are you going to do I, I'll flip it why Do not? it. Yes. Flip it. Oh, oh no! no! Shrapnel. Oh, boy. Yep. Oh, it actually says shrapnel, too. It doesn't say scrapnel. That's yeah, cool. they got the name back, I think. Yeah. Hey, we've got two Insecticons. That's kind of cool. We do. Shrapnel is a four cost, so you'll need four power in order to beat him. Uh, and again, he is a Decepticon, so even if you do beat him, you don't get him to your deck, but you do get the uh, the victory points, or the Energon in this case. Uh, but since you pulled a Decepticon, you need to pull an Ambush. So go ahead and f- take that encounter, flip it. Okay. Um, can I ask um, a quick question while this is happening? Absolutely. How does, how does block work? Uh, block is if you are within range... You may uh, play a card that has the block ability on it, like the block keyword, or in the case of Prime, you may spend an Energon to block. Uh, I believe it's you can uh, you can block at a range of two and maybe use it during any player's turn. So in order to use that ability, you need to pay two Energon, and if you are within two spaces of of Charles here, uh, you may block that and just automatically prevent the ambush. Uh, yeah, let's do it. You are within two spaces, so yeah. So there we go. I'm going to spend two Energon, and I'm going to block for you, Charles, so that way you don't have to take any uh, any issue there. Well, thank you, Dr. Pants. Well, it's what Prime would um, do. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, if, if, if Prime had not blocked, I would have lost one victory point, or I guess one Energon. One Energon, yep. Uh, but well, I don't know. Doctor Pants spent two Energons to prevent me from losing one Energon. So I don't know if that's, know if that's, a, that's a deal. I, I also gained two by beating um, Brawl last game, so I'm at three now still. Oh, okay. So, it, it's just Optimus can't help it. <laughs> He's got to jump in front, man. He's got to jump in front. 
I gotta jump in front. <laughs> Plus, it's only shrapnel. What's the worst? He's All right. Do? Well, I still only have two power, so I cannot defeat shrapnel. So I guess I will spend my last movement to go over here. Okay. And you... then I will buy a transformer and rollout car with my two um, power. Excellent. I will so. make uh, one recommendation, Charles, on your fixed card over here. You have the ability to pay an Energon to destroy one starter that you control. Uh, you would probably want to do that to start getting rid of some of your starter cards to make room for better cards, for example, like that Transform and Rollout. There's no cap to how many cards you can have in your deck, but you want to keep it as low as possible so you're always drawing the good stuff every turn. Okay. So I would probably recommend getting rid of one of those Courages because the Courage only gives you one power and nothing else. All right, then let's do that. So I will spend that Energon that I got at the beginning of this round to get rid of that my Courage there. And that goes into the Destroy Pile. Okay, is that this one? Yep. 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 Okay. And... You don't need to rotate it. You can just drop it on top. It'll auto rotate. Oh, okay. Uh, it should well, auto rotate. <laughs> I'll I'll take care of it. All right. Okay. I guess that ends my turn. So. All right. Now, since oh. you did not get, uh, since you did not clear anything out of the matrix. Uh, you do have to destroy the top card in the deck, unfortunately. Anytime uh, you did not purchase or dis or uh, destroy a Decepticon, you have to clear out the top card in the deck of the... Should we see what it is or just put it in the destroy yep. box? You should flip it, see what it is, because if it okay. is a boss, the boss is going to come out. It is it's not a, quick a boss. quick change maneuver. All right. Okay. All right. Mm. And all of those cards, including the one that you bought, go to your discard pile and then draw up to five more cards. Okay. All right. And now Jeremy. So, yep. So I'm going to go and... <clears throat> so I'm in this top corner here. So all right. I'm going to use one of the movement to flip. Flip it. And... Ooh, Decepticon. Ah. So we got okay. Scrapper on here. Four, uh, value four. Uh, and, uh, yeah. And he's a Constructicon. So the four would be the four energy that I have. So I can beat him. Yes. Unless the versus card has something that... Exactly right. Uh, so go ahead and draw your, your encounter first and read off your ambush. There's two Energon. All I have is two Energon. No. Not, uh, a, not a horrible attack, but, you know, could be better. I, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm going to block again because I've got more than two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Optimus just can't help himself. Can't, well, Optimus <laughs> got a crap load of energy last, last hand, so let's... Uh, okay. Let's burn some of it to save other people's energy on because this is a cooperative game. All right. Look at you cooperating in stuff. <laughs> I like teamwork. Uh, yeah. Optimus Prime is everyone's friend. All a right, true so. leader. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going since um yeah, since you blocked, then I can just use my four um and Destroy or beat him. So yep. he goes somewhere in your area. Put him in there. All right. And then I still have, I haven't moved at all. So I still have my three movement, right? Well, you spent, you spent a move to flip the card. Right. All right. So I have two movement. But you, you also have the patrol where you can flip any card adjacent to you. That's right. So I think I will flip this one in the top. And what is that? Hey, that's me. Oh, that that's is. RC. 
So, um, Block gained two energy on. Oh, man, I need that card. <laughs> yeah, seems like it's perfect for you. <laughs> I mean, I don't... That did, that did not use a move, right? It did use a move to flip it. Oh, no, no, sorry. No. That's, that was no. the, the card. Control. Yep. Yep, you're good. So, I still have two move. But... You have three moves. I have two, because I, I, I used you, one of my three to do oh, the first flip. Uh, oh, that's right. Sorry. You're right. So... I think I might. I don't know. I think Doctor Pants needs that card more than me. Well, you need power to buy it, not move. That too. So yeah. I have. I have. I don't have that. Um, I think I will just move here. And do I risk flipping? Okay. Seriously, I, I have no power. <laughs> yeah. Well, so. I mean, again, how many Decepticons could be on the field right now? Well, right now there are two on the field. And we just killed one and we killed another one. That's been four. There cannot be another one under there. There could be a boss. Okay, there could be. <laughs> <laughs> since, since my first flip was the Decepticon, I don't think I'm going to press my luck. All right. So I, I think I'm going to be done right now. All right. So go ahead and refill the Matrix. And then discard all of this, uh, discard your hand and everything that you played. 